Hello developers, welcome to welcome to another video of how to make a website like Battery Spy. So today I'm going to where we left. So without so if you make sure that make sure that you, you watch my, my full play so that you are up to date with where, where, where we are. So let, let's go. But today now I know I've changed I'm not using visual my, my visual studio code instead of sublime text because I found I found out sub visual studio code is my best editor of choice. So now after 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 creating a section called container, we are now going to add another div here. I'll add another div called div extra. So right, right there, clear to add some more. I've got another another, another new div called div text text title. So below another div called div title icon. So now I'm going to add two images inside. I've added two images. The first one image is called extra icon. Then this one is for active is on hover. This is the image that will be displayed. So I've got two images, extra icon, extra icon active. Outside the div div item div icon i'm going to add h2 text with content extra i'm adding another div chat text chat to text body for dhl dl so now i'm going to add some add another div called div text body item i want a data table with the heading uh, two goals i add this is the heading for the data table i'm going to add some details for Definition description. So definition description will be these two are uh, these two contents. This is meant to, to denote a description or a definition of an item. Now I want to mod to do a mod with of this div to make it three type three three. So I'm going to copy it then below. I'm going to paste paste so that i let, let me just put in some spacing so that you are able to see my code how it's going yeah they can see that's how, that's how my code is going but now you can see that i also i now want to to replace the content with the right one like you can see we can't have a duplication of this content so i'm going to be replacing this one this content needs to be deleted and I'll replace it with the correct check and see if but now the correct details. I also want to delete this text. And then let's they can see I've got the correct information. Now let's come and check out my port 5000, 5500. What's going on the progress that we have made? They can see this is this is this is the coin this coin that we've been displaying there. So let me come and check. Once we are done with this div for for text text extra, I'm going to create another new div outside called features. So below inside this, I'm going to have another new div called div title. Then have another div called div title icon. Then I'm going to, I'm going to add two images called features. Then the features icon with the class name of active so you can see it outside the div i'm going to add some h2 checks with the content features we are going to go outside the div for div we are going to add another, another new div called text body okay dhl data listing okay if i Okay, let me have another div called div text body item. Inside this div, I'm going to create a div without a class name. Then below this one, I'm going to add a data item. We will add to data description to data. So this is, now let me give a look at how it's going on inside my browser. So you can see the features is opening there. Outside the div with the with the with no class name, I'm going to create another new div, which shall be called text body poster. Then inside, I'm going to insert text body. This is an image that we have inserted. Let me come and look the progress that we have made on our live server. So you can see this is the image that we have inserted. Now I want to multiply this div text body item. Let's copy it. 
and then we multiply it okay the second multiple then let's go on to add another third multiple then let me go on and add another fourth multiple there you can see i've multiplied these ones now come if i save my changes and go to the browser you can see we got these three but i want them to to look different and look different so i'm going to have to to to, to change the content of this text and the images that are there so if you look down into my browser there they are they've got so many similarities there you can see but we know we are now going to change this text that is there they did they did these and, and also the images so to save time i'm just going to paste this one but you can just find it okay like on the first one we are going to change yeah we are going to change the, the content inside so i'm just going to say i'll do this delete it we have got new text and let's come to the next one i also have to delete everything that is there and replace it with the correct come inside our browser then we come on to the fourth text body item div so i'm going to have to delete all this text that is there and then we replace so if i now come and check the port yeah i pasted the correct text let's say we got two Okay, I need I need to have yeah like this one so that I'm able to yeah there you can see so I've got I've got four, four our description list has got four divs with the with the with the item text so now let me come and look at inside our browser how everything now looks like there you can see we've got four one two three four so now the next thing that we are going to be doing we are now going to style everything inside the css file so come inside your browser and let's go inside the css from where we left i'm here so now i'm going to continue styling from there the main content section statistics active statistics so now to do this one i'm going to have to inside i'm going to set some css properties position to absolute top 50 right 50 right right zero and let's come inside okay let's continue i'm going to set a transform a translate y upwards minus 50 so in the opposite of zero just all those all ms transform most transform web kit they are just for styling on different browsers if i come inside my browser there you can see the changes it's a transition property of or, or variable opposite transition now i might want to add some css styling here in this case for main active statistics and active statistics i'm going to say kesa kesa we're going to add pointer okay with our case pointer this is how this is how presently our solution looks like so we need to style it so that it looks like everything looks just perfectly with all this styling so we need to we need, we need to sort out this styling so i'm just going to go inside my my css file inside the css file i'm going to add a width of 1.4 and a height of 1.4 let me come and check 
so they can see the item with they have increased now i'm also let's i'm also going to add a over effect over the active states for the over effect i'm going to set the opacity to one then let's tell the right hand the main right hand side let's give it a case of pointer and then let's come and style the right the right head of the of the paragraph tags so you can see we've got a case uh, pointer in active state let's give it a color of 50 text and a font size of 1,3 rams then let's start the main body style the main bed main body contents this one if i can minimize so that you can see this is the deal that you're going to be styling nextly the main content body so inside our css file i'm going to give the main content body of margin button of three rams then i'm going to give it a for the main championships i'm going to set an overflow along the x-axis to auto Then for the championships, I'm going to give it a head of fourth background, then a table header in the padding block of 1,5 rams, font size 1,4, then font weight bold. Let me come and check. They can see the font size is now bold, and they can see the matchings with the, with the font size of increased font size. Then for the head, for the championship set, I'm going to set text align center and align items to center. So if I come inside, you can see we are aligning the items to the center. Then for the championship set checks, it checks we are going to give it. A grid column of two to six two over six then come inside there you can see it's it's now two over six we have decreased some grid columns then let's set for the championship board let's have a padding block of two rams line height two rams point size one comma three rams then a border bottom of margin box margin border color variable color that if i come there you can see the variable of the color has been now visible you can see we have enlarged everything and let's have championship board grid column two over six border to the right width one pixel border right then let's have border right style solid in the padding right two rams in the case of pointer you can see we have reduced everything is now becoming more visible just like as our solution is expecting Now let me keep on styling. For the for the main body data, I'm going to set a transition of variable color transition, and you can see we are styling the body data and body name. You can come and check inside our solution. Oh, there you can see the transition opacity. Now, if I come inside my styling and I set the hover effect over for the text of color hover, then, then for the main body name paragraph, I'm going to set a text overflow of ellipse, then overflow hidden, then white spacing no rem and maximum width of 10 rams to paragraph text. Let me come inside and start it to styling. Then now I'm going to style the body now. I'm going to give it a display flex, align item center, just for content center, case up point 100% of on the height, font size of 1,4 rams, then border radius of 2, 0, 0,2, then color of variable yellow effect, then let's have a transition of 0, 0,2 background, background color, 0, 0,2 seconds. Oh, there you can see wow lovely lovely there you can see the content is just changed you can see this this color 
this yellow color tx effect is just changed just like our solution is requiring us to do we are just we are making all this solution look awesome then let me style the end the body number end of type the fifth of type let's set it ram padding to that one ring then border right with one pixel then border right color main color using the variable of main color border then let's set the border to the right style solid okay yes then let's continue giving it some css styling i'm going to set the border on rover border num on rover background color of using a using our variable of teddy rover color Then, then for the main content i want for the text i want to set it to display none if you come inside there you can you see we have set by default to display none on desktop view you can see the text has just disappeared because we set the property to display none then let's have some media queries at large screens of maximum width of 964 pixels that's for like screens on And I'm creating some spacing then inside for the main content text let's if display to block on like screens of nine um, of maximum of nine hundred sixty four pixels that is on like screens then on on text dot dot the class name minus main content directing to the text class and the text body on more on like screens I'm going to set display to flexi then on main content text features text body item class name I'm going to say padding and set then gap and set then on 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 media screens of maximum width of 782 pixels that is on tablet screens I'm going to give some main content dot text dot dot text body class I'm going to give it a flex of rep. So let's come and check a look at the progress that you have made. There you can see the changes that you have applied. So this, this, this was it for this video. See you in the next coming video. Don't forget to subscribe and like my, co my content.